What's going on guys? Jay back joining you. We're in an apartment building today and we obviously have this toilet. Um, they said it's been backing up. So you guys can see some remnants in the toilet. So we are, I just shut the water off. We're actually gonna be changing out the, um, we're gonna put in a retrofit shut off valve, right? Uh, this one's made by Dull. Um, we're gonna put new closet bolts, we're gonna put new gasket, we're gonna put new water supply, and yeah. So we're gonna suck out all the water and then pull the toilet, snake it out, and then put everything back together, see what we find. So let's get started. So we'll keep the vacuum in here just in case it needs to be vacuumed again. Um, I don't know if you guys can see the calcium in the toilet there. So these toilets are bad for uh, building up calcium, but then this is also the old model, right? With this white insert. And um, this is the siphon back here. Sometimes this gets plugged up when just the toilet's plugged, but this isn't the case today, but I'm just showing you guys. This is one of the Niagara Stealth toilets or Hennessy Hengecliff is who's branded it uh, for these buildings. Um, the new models, you can remove this and uh, snake down the siphon and clear the blockage. Because what happens when you plug up a toilet, you plunge it, a lot of feces and paper can build up in these uh, siphons. That's why I don't like these toilets. They're not a good quality toilet. Um, a lot of people like them. The toilet itself is good. The tank setup and with it only being, I think it's like a, a 0.1 or a 1.8 liter or a 0.8 liter. I can't remember exactly which, what it is. Um, but anyway, regardless, um, I don't recommend these toilets if you find them with the siphon in the back there it's not a good quality toilet that's me that's what i think um who am i i'm just jay jay that drain guy if you guys are getting any information or useful information out of this uh, video at all and you guys like what you see give it a thumbs up leave a comment and subscribe if you haven't um, it does help the channel grow um, But if you don't care about the channel growing, which most people don't, then just enjoy the video. We may need to shut off the light on this camera, um, just if the, cam if the camera gets too hot with the light being right there. But we'll see when the time comes. Pull the caps off. Um, just a heads up, this toilet does have silicone around the base. I did cut it. Um, I will not be re-siliconing it because it's not code here and I don't like it when it's like that. When you're in an apartment, you can't see where the blockage is or you can't see if there's a a leak and it goes downstairs and ruins the ceiling of the unit below. Uh, some places it is code um, and some places some people just swear by doing it. Um, I don't know if we're going to have to replace these bolts or not. We're going to do it anyway. Thank you. 
have the cardboard shims. The old wax gasket. We'll scrape it up any easier.
All right. That definitely worked a lot better than the scraper did. Turn that off. You guys can probably hear the gurgling. We're gonna use the K50 today because I'm gonna be honest with you, the Milwaukee just doesn't have the power. I thought it would have. See the water there. This is 15 feet right here. Uh, so the blockage was less than 10 feet away at the bottom of the stack that is. So we're gonna put the rest of this next section of 15 feet in. That'll be a total of 30 feet. And we're gonna have the water running in the bathtub. And then we should be good. We'll put everything back together. Turn that hot water on. 
the bathtub. Then we're gonna pull this cable out. We'll see if we got anything on the end. So that's seven and a half feet. That's 15 right there. Twenty-two and a half. Okay. Got some goodies. Q-tips. Flat wipes. Another Q-tip. Q-tip and wet wipe. And then of course a plastic baggie. Because why not? That's that. Now we're going to put in. Well, first things first, I'm going to clean my scraper. Hot water running on your scraper uh, keeps that wax nice and soft. And then it cleans off no problem. And then when you run hot water over top of your gasket, it comes out nice and soft as well. That's a, definitely a good pointer. If it's winter, wherever you guys are, when you guys are snaking drains, if you're gonna put in a wax gasket. So, what I like to do, put in the new bolts, right? Then we're gonna take a new washer, you can even use one of the old washers. And then we're going to tighten this down. And that's so that it doesn't move in the future. We can actually shut that water off. Center it, and you want to do this before you put your gasket on so that you don't get wax all over your wrench. All right, that's that, and then we'll take the old nut from this side. I 
I can't stand when people put new flanges in. They, uh, they'll put a washer underneath the flange and if the bolt needs to be cut, you're gonna end up having to replace the whole flange because you need to cut it. And I've seen this a lot where the people will use metal, like steel bolts, nuts and bolts. And it's like, how, like they're gonna rust and then they're gonna need to be cut. But it is what it is, I guess, right? So learned a little trick from Drain Medic. Um, bring two pairs of gloves. That way, Drain Medic is uh, another YouTube channel. I'll link them down below. Uh, Bob and Shelly, good people from what it seems like. Uh, they're a husband and wife team. And they even sometimes get their uh, Shelly's daughter and uh, in there to give them a hand as well. Uh, but the reason you bring two gloves, like I was just working with wax and everything like that. I gotta put the toilet back, new set of gloves, and then the toilet won't be all dirty from the gloves. But the only problem is, my hands are sweaty. It's okay. Never leave home without your Watson gloves. Here goes. So just give this a little wipe. I put that, and then kind of give it a little, little weight on it to make sure it gets seated properly. We'll go the plastic washer, the brass washer, and then the brass nut. Actually, before I do that, I will hook up the water supply. That way we can have the toilet filling while we secure to the floor. Now in the future, they won't need to undo this regular shut off. They can just uh, shut off the new retrofit that I put on. All right, that's that. Make sure you don't over tighten because you can crack the bowl. Definitely done that when I first started. You tend to learn that real quick. When I first started, there was one week where I broke like three toilets. Uh, one I just straight out dropped. One I over tightened. And then 
one, dropped one over tight. I think I ended up hitting one, but so uh, probably need to flush this twice. Okay, we'll let that fill up again. I think I'm gonna tighten up this uh, toilet seat. <laughs> Down, huh? I thought that would... <sighs> Alright. Alright. Here goes. So, I don't like the way this is flushing, first off. Uh, I think that flan siphon is going to be partially plugged. That's why I don't like these toilets. Oh. So, the other camera shut off because it was too hot. Right? Um, but, as you guys can see, it is flushing. Give it one more flush just so you guys can see. That's where we're going to leave this, guys. I want to thank you for watching. This has been Jay, that Drain Guy, signing out. Until next time, Tarogna.